जी एस पेपर वन जोग्रफी सेक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स विच आज हाउ द फ्योर्ड्स आर फॉर्मड वाई डू दे कॉन्स्टिट्यूट सम ऑफ द मोस्ट पिक्चर्स क्यू एरियाज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड नॉट दिस क्वेश्चन कैरी टेन मार्क एंड हैज टू बी रिटर्न विद इन द वर्ल्ड लिमिट ऑफ वन फिफ्टी वर्ड नॉट दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज फ्रॉम अ ब्रॉड सेक्शन दैट इज जियो मॉर्फोलॉजी एंड विद इन दैट वी कैन सी दिस वॉज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम erosional landform so the first thing that is the introduction of this particular uh, answer so in the introduction we are purely going to uh, define sort of fjords in terms of where they are found and so we are writing that fjords or fjords how they are called as are unique geographical formations found in certain coastal regions of temperate region this is just the introduction part now from here when we move on to the body part the first thing we are explaining is the formation of the fjords so fjords so what are fjords fjords are primarily the drowned glacial valleys so glaciers when carve out the valleys which are u shaped valleys what happened in the subpolar zones and the like scandinavian regions uh, when during the last ice age the glacial approach occurred up to these areas the glaciers carved out these u shaped valleys which were glacial troughs or glacial valleys now after the ice age as the ice age was retreating or the, as the glaciers were retreating the sea level was rising and these uh, u shaped valleys the glacial troughs uh, experienced marine inundation and so they became the drowned glacial valleys these drowned glacial valleys are called as fjords so in this case how we are going to put it in our answer primarily we can see we'll write first of all that these are essentially drowned glacial valleys as well as they are a result of interplay of glacial action and marine inundation as i told you the glacial action first of all is the creation of glacial trough the u shaped valley and then marine inundation resulting in drowning of these valleys and then the whole of the formation process as in during the last ice age these glaciers carved a deep u shaped troughs in the valleys and we have mentioned the processes over here that is plucking and frost shattering and after that now the next part that is when the glacier receded so when the glaciers receded the valleys submerged due to land subsidence or the sea level rise both of which will result in marine inundation so this was the first part the second part of the question now if we take a look at that is so why do uh, they constitute some of the most pictures queue areas of the world now primarily this second part has no specific answer to this primarily it's the structure part the structure part of the fjord that is it has a very steep walls because it is a u shaped valley it has a steep side walls and these steep side walls directly rise above the waters which are very calm okay they can be considered as the extension of a sea okay but are not experiencing waves or tides so calm serene waters and out of that would be coming out or standing apart almost vertical uh, side walls of the valleys so in this case now when we talk about the pictures queue nature of the fjords how we are going to put it is primarily steep steep cliffs rising from tranquil water plus there are waterfalls over here and the lights on the cliff and the water sunrise sunset these are going to add to the beauty of the fjord then along with that we have uh, given an example of the fjord which is a unesco world heritage site which is giranger fjord now this giranger fjord unesco world heritage site you can if you have to check just checking the part okay nothing about putting it into the answer but we can see the properties or the characteristics that we are talking about which are the steep walls over here or steep sided walls over here and in between that this is the tranquil serene waters calm waters which are there this is exactly what we are going putting it in the form of 
why they form picture skill location so the two parts of the question that is how they are formed and second why they are the uh, picture skill location and so lastly now concluding this particular answer we are just putting it again repeating the same idea summarizing the idea that uh, first of all they are the work of the nature and they are very beautiful in which we are reading fjords with their origin rooted in glacial activities and their unparalleled beauty stand as a testament to nature's ability to craft awe-inspiring landscapes.